Hey, YouTubers, you got the doc again. Coming to you with another little bitty side tip or a little tip to maybe make your life a little bit easier when you're dealing with suburban survival or out in the woods survival type things. Um, I recently went to Walmart specifically for this, and I think it's a neat uh, object. Um, you go into Walmart, you go into the luggage area, they usually have a wall. Uh, Excuse me, I'm getting ready for a nap. And on that wall, um, they sell stuff for foreign, over foreign countries. Weird plugs to plug, adapters to plug in. Well, that's where you'll find this. Okay? This is a solar charger kit. Right? And it's it's a solar charger panel. You open it up. It's a solar charger panel. Then you open it up even more, like so. Open it up, and inside you have a uh, charger cell. You have a cell, and then you have universal plugs. Okay, which will fit just almost any cell phone or or uh, tablet, or it, it comes with its own things. So what it does is the solar cells charge up, charges up this. Okay, and this charges up your cell phone. Let me push a little button on it see if I, see if I need to charge it up again. Oh yeah. See? That's a, that lets you know it's got three bars on it now. And when the light's on, it'll it's ready to charge. There's a little button on the top, little white button there. See that? You push it and it, uh, you push it off. Yeah. Yeah, it'll go off on its own when it's not hooked up or nothing. That's what it does. That's off. Now this will go off in a second. So anyways, and I tested this, and it holds up to, it can charge your cell phone twice from, uh, you know, one bar to full twice uh, before it needs to be recharged. So during the day, you've got this out and about. You can attach this to the front side of your backpack or to your bicycle or to the dash of your car and just plug it in and charge this thing up as you're going down the road and walking. Let it charge it up, and then at night or in the evening, you're good to go for recharging your cell phone. Now, this works good for a power outage, um, and, and it'll keep you with communication. As long as your cell phone usage, you got your communication. Okay, you're able to recharge it for communication. And you know what's fascinating? I thought this was great. I really did. I've got it because it it's way, hardly weighs anything, maybe two ounces, if that. Okay, it's the most of the weight is that dry cell battery that's in here or the charge battery that's in here and this thing fits it's thin okay there's a magnet not velcro but a magnet that actually holds this together all right and it uh it um it only costs like 15 bucks okay that's cheap for me it is i know they got a lot of various different ones out on the market but I uh, went to Walmart specifically looking for this and found it for like 14, 15 bucks. Like in that section where you go for uh, luggage, then they generally have one little rack wall where they sell uh, universal plugs for because you know our outlets are different than their outlets overseas. It's in that area where they sell that stuff uh, is where they sell. They'll sell this, so you can pick this up there for like 14, 15 dollars. Now I went over to the auto parts store for another specific item. I guess this is uh, Power Day. <laughs> Anyways, because I'm thinking urban survivalist, um, I wanted to do some videos like an urban survivalist. So I'm looking at stuff that you would be using to get yourself around and use stuff to move what you need for whatever period of time. Okay, if it's you're trying to get across the cities and then out into the communities. Or if you're trying to work your way or whatever, or the power's out for four or five days. Look at look what happened on the East Coast last winter. Power was out for, you know, a week, two weeks at times. And the people were without power that long. So we, if, if you've never dealt with that, how do you know what it's going to be like for you? So think about that. Good to have something. It won't be cloudy for 40 days in a row. So you know you're going to get sun eventually. Alright, if not, this is what I went for too. Okay.
on my chair. This thing. Okay? This fits in your cup holder in the car. Alright? It's got a plug to it. It's got a 15 amp fuse. And it's got a plug on the other end that you plug into a cigarette lighter or a, uh, you know, a plug for uh, well, my day called it a cigarette lighter hole. Okay, so well, that's it. Now, spring loaded lid. Okay, but you open it up, and it gives you two outlets, power switch, and it gives you two USB ports. For what for? Recharge your phone, recharge your laptop, recharge whatever you can recharge all right you can charge it right off your own car battery okay or in your in your outlets in your van but it gives you two 110 outlets okay and it gives you instructions gives you what it covers or what the what the it, it says it's uh output voltage 120 vac 60 hertz maximum continuous output 150 watts uh input 100 Input input 12 volt DC fuse 15 amp. See, it just just gives you the information on the under the lid. But this is spring loaded, so it always you know nothing that will get down in there unless you got it oh, oh, spring up and then plugged in with something. Otherwise, it sits down and sealed. And a uh, little light comes on out here, so this this peak area it turns blue, so you know it's on. And there's an internal fan. This is an inverter. That's what it is. It's an inverter. And it's got an internal fan, and it runs an internal fan to keep it cool. It runs off your car battery, and it's got the 110 outlets. Ta -da, ta -da 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 -da. Got that at the uh, auto parts store. So you can probably get this, these pretty much anywhere. Okay? And that's just the plug to plug it in in order to get it running. But it does come fused. So if something shorts in this, It'll pop its pews. It won't, it won't hurt or mess with your vehicle. Cool. Or you can actually use this on like the uh, Harbor Freight inverters or any, not inverter, charge controllers for solar panels. If they have the uh, cigarette lighter plugs in, you can plug it in. Here you got a small inverter for the car or a car small inverter for the house or small inverter for whatever. If you're out, out camping, you can take this take a, a Harbor Freight uh, uh, solar panel charge controller and a solar panel from the Harbor Freight, whatever, and from the sun, you can get one tag. Cool. All right. I wanted to bring this stuff to you. Just giving you some hints, hints and thoughts and gadgets to go for, uh, to go in whatever you need for your Bob, Bob, bug out vehicle or your Bob out vehicle. Bob out. Bob, bug out bag, or your get home bag, or to put permanently in your vehicle, or to put permanently in your home, or to put permanently in your camping gear, or whatever you want to do. But it is two things that I made sure made sure I had because uh, you have to have alternate sources of energy. Can you say that with me five times in a row? Alternate sources of energy. You got to have, you got to think beyond the box and have alternate sources of energy. Okay? And that's a good way to do it. Even with the, that one charger for the communication, a simple little thing, only costs 14 something. One day could be a lifesaver to you or could be just uh, uh, I don't know. Hopefully you never have to use it. Until then, it's a toy. But when it becomes necessary, you could be very thankful that you got it. Okay? Well, until next time, people, take it easy. Be safe out there. I'm in the state of Michigan. This is November 16th. 
It's cold. It's cold outside. Can't believe it's going to be down to 17. I think it's Monday night. It's not even Thanksgiving yet. Tell me the times ain't changing. Tell me weird stuff isn't occurring. Yes, it is. Keep your eye on it, okay? All right.